Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is the smallest number on left, right? So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up. So before proceeding further in the video, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel till now, it will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And do join our Telegram community too. The link for the Telegram channel is in the description itself. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The problem says, given an array E of integers of length n, find the nearest smallest number, smaller number for every element such that the smaller element is on left side. And if no small element present on the left, print minus one. Okay. I hope the problem statement is clear. Hamare paas ek array hai. जिसमें हमारे पास n एलिमेंट्स दिए गए हैं हमें करना क्या है हमें नियरेस्ट स्मॉलर नंबर फाइंड करना है एक गिवन एलिमेंट के लिए फॉर एवरी एलिमेंट जो है हमारे पास एरे में इस तरीके से कि जो स्मॉलर नंबर होना चाहिए वो लेफ्ट में होना चाहिए जैसे आपने एक एलिमेंट पिक किया तो उस एलिमेंट से जो स्मॉलर नंबर होना चाहिए वो लेफ्ट में होना चाहिए एंड अगर कोई ऐसा स्मॉलर नंबर प्रेजेंट नहीं है तो सिंपली माइनस वन प्रिंट करना है एक एग्जाम्पल से समझ लेते हैं so here you can see n equal to 3 and these are the array elements 1, 6, 2. Now if you will pick this one, right? So there is no element, this is the first element itself, right? So there is no element in the left part. So for this one, what we'll get? We'll get minus 1 because there is no element present on the left part. Next we have 6, right? Next we have 6. So for 6, if you will see in the left part, we have 1, which is smaller than that of 6. So we'll be having 1, okay? The next is 2. So for 2, if you will see, right, so in the left part, we have, we have what? We have 1, which is smaller than that of 2. So we will be having 1, okay? So there is no number at the left of 1, right? A smaller number than 6 and 2 is 1. That's why we are having minus 1, 1. Let's have a look on the second example too. So here we have n equal to 6, and these are the added elements. 1, 5, 0, 3, 4, 5. For 1, in the left, we have minus 1. And for 5, we will see. So 1 is smaller than that of 5. So we we'll take 1 here. Now for 0. So for 0, there is no element in the left which is smaller than that of 0. So we will be having minus 1. Then we have 3. So for 3, uh, we have 0. Right? For 3, we have 0 which is smaller than that of 3. So we will be having 0 here. Now for 4. Now for 4. Now see, if you will think right that you will be wondering over for 3, we have 0 also. We have 1 also. Right? But which is closer? Which is closer? 0 is closer, right? And for the 4 also, if you will see, right? For the 4 also, if you will see, 1, 0 and 3. They all are smaller numbers, right? When compared with 4. But which is closer? 3 is closer, right? So we are taking 3. Then for 5, or which is closer? 4. 4 is the smaller number than 5. So we are taking 4, right? So I hope now you are properly clear with the problem statement that what actually they are expecting from us. So whatever task is that we have to complete the function left is smaller which takes n and a as input parameters and returns the list of smaller numbers and expected time complexity is big O of n and expected auxiliary space is big O of n. Now, problem statement is clear. Let's think. Let's think together. So what needs to be done? So one thing is clear from here itself that in the left part, right, for the first element itself, for the first element, will be always this will be mapped with minus one because for the first element there won't be any left element that could exist right so this is clear then then the thing is how we going to determine we we have to find the closer number okay jo bhi hum element pick kar rahe hain find karna hai uh, ek aisa element jo ki hamare chosen element se smaller ho left mein ho or close close mein jo pade okay ye cheez hai theek hai so hum kisi data structure ka use kar sakte hain kya yahan pe think about it can we do so yes we can and what is that going to be ki is tarike ka data structure use karna hai hame ki jo element hum insert kiya ho humne insert kiya ho last mein wo hame pehle mil jaye kyunki hame close wala chahiye na pass wala chahiye theek hai to aisa kaun sa data structure hai is that right we can use this stack here of course, we can use tag here. Okay, now let's understand the question. This will be mapping to minus 1. Par. That is clear. Then, we have put 1 in our stack. Okay, so the top pick is 1. Now, we will compare. So, 
तो अभी हमारा करेंट एलिमेंट है फाइव और फाइव जो है हमारा वो हमारे स्टेक के टॉप एलिमेंट से कैसा है छोटा है ना सॉरी जो फाइव जो है हमारा वो स्टेक के टॉप एलिमेंट से बड़ा है राइट तो हम कह सकते हैं कि ये हमारा क्लोज एलिमेंट मिल गया विच इज स्मॉलर देन दैट ऑफ फाइव ठीक है तो हम इससे हम हमने मैप कर दिया वन को नेक्स्ट वी हैव जीरो जीरो सो ऑल्सो हम क्या करेंगे ना कि ये वैल्यू को भी हम अपने स्टैक में इंसर्ट कराते जाएंगे तो वन गया फिर फाइव गया अभी हमारा करेंट एलिमेंट है जीरो तो जीरो को हम कंपेयर करेंगे स्टैक के टॉप से तो हमारा स्टैक के टॉप क्या है फाइव ठीक है तो फाइव जो है हमारा बड़ा है जीरो से हम इसको हटाएंगे हम हम सोचेंगे अच्छा चलो हो सकता है कि और एलिमेंट हो स्टैक में इतना भी स्मॉलर मिल जाए राइट और लेफ्ट में चलते हैं तो हम क्या करेंगे एलिमेंट को पॉप आउट कर देंगे स्टैक से ठीक है तो अब हमारे पास स्टैक में रहा वन वन को भी अगर आप कंपेयर करोगे तो वन भी जीरो से स्मॉलर नहीं है राइट तो स्टैक हो जाएगा हमारा एम इसको भी पॉप आउट करेंगे अब स्टैक हो जाएगा हमारा एम तो फर्दर प्रोसेसिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल तो जीरो से हम मैप कर देंगे माइनस को एंड जीरो को स्टैक में पुश कर देंगे ठीक है नाउ वट इज आर करेंट एलिमेंट थ्री इज आर करेंट एलिमेंट राइट थ्री हमारा करेंट एलिमेंट थ्री अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सेम थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डू द कंपेरिजन नाउ स्टैक इज नॉट एम टी बिकॉज वी हैव सर्टेड जीरो देर सो द एलिमेंट विच इज देर एट द टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक वॉट इज दैट जीरो एंड जीरो इज स्मॉलर देन दैट ऑफ थ्री राइट सो विथ थ्री वॉट वी गोइंग टू मैप वी आर गोइंग टू मैप जीरो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू इंसर्ट दिस थ्री इन टू अ स्टैक नेक्स्ट वी हैव फोर सो फॉर फोर ऑल्सो इफ यू विल कंपेयर राइट द एलिमेंट विच इज द टॉप What is the element at the top? Three, right? Because this is the last element that we inserted in the stack. So three is smaller than that of four. So what we are going to do? With four, we are going to map the value three, right? Okay. Um. Then we are going to insert this four as well in the stack. So what is the element at the top of the stack now? Four. And this is our current element now. This is the element that we are considering now. So for this one, if you will check, right? For this one, if you will check. So we will compare. The element which is the top of the stack. So we have four at the top of the stack, and four is smaller than that of five. So of course we can consider this. So with the five, what value will be mapped? Four will be mapped, and you can see we have got the values that we were the the mapping that we were looking for. Minus one, one, minus one, zero, three, four. I hope the logic is clear. So that's what the logic was. Now pause this video right now and do the implementation from your side. Once you are done with the implementation, come back to the video. If you are facing any difficulty, any challenges, have a look on the solution, right? So I hope that you have tried implementation by your end. So now let's have a look on the code part. So here you can see we are having a stack, we are having array list. That's what we are supposed to return. Now what we are going to do is so we are just doing the iteration of. We are just creating the traversing the array elements for int i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus this. Now, so here we are checking that if the stack is not empty and the element that we do have, uh, if that is what that is greater than that of greater than or equal to greater than or equal to the element which is there at the uh, with the current element, right? So that's what we are checking. If there is an element which is at the top of the stack which is greater than or equal to the current element. So we are going to simply pop that element, right? So that's what we were supposed to do, right? कि अगर ऐसी possibility है कि element जो हमारे stack के top पर है, वो हमारे current element को जिसको हम consider करें उससे बड़ा है या बराबर है, तो हम उसको pop करेंगे। हम further explore करेंगे ना कि चलो और explore करते हैं, शायद कोई और element मिल जाए हमें छोटा, ठीक है? तो वो चीज़ हम यहाँ पे कर रहे हैं। तो अब यहाँ पे हम क्या कर रहे हैं? Now we are checking that if stack is is empty, right? So हो सकता है कि जब हम ये पॉपिंग कर रहे थे कि सारे एलिमेंट निकल के लेफ्ट में कोई ऐसा एलिमेंट एक्जिस्ट ही नहीं करता जो करेंट एलिमेंट से छोटा हो तो हम चेक करें कि अगर हमारा स्टैक जो है एम्प्टी हो गया तो हम मैप करेंगे वैल्यू माइनस वन अदरवाइज जो भी एलिमेंट और टॉप पे होगा स्टैक को उसको हम एड करेंगे अपनी लिस्ट में एंड ऑल्सो जो हमारा करेंट एलिमेंट है जिसको जिसको हम कंसिडर कर रहे थे उसको हम अपनी स्टैक में भी एड कर देंगे सो दैट्स वॉट वी आर डूइंग ओके एंड एट दैन वी आर सिंपली टर्निंग दिस एल आई ठीक है So yeah, that's all from my side. I hope the logic part and the implementation is clear. I have provided the code in the description, so you can just refer it in case of any doubt. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Bye bye.